Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing with some holiday releases. Charlotte Silbury has released hers already. There are a couple other ones that I have picked up, but today we are playing around with the Beautyverse palette as well as one of the cheek palettes that she released and some items that I received either at Sephora or picked up on my own. But you guys, before we jump into it, if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell for notifications of new videos. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. But if you wanna see how I got this look using some new products that I picked up, just keep watching. Okay, you guys, I have so much new stuff in front of me. Some stuff from Sephora. I did a Sephora purchase. There's a bunch of things and I am excited to jump into it. One of the first things, and this was released right before I went to Sephora. And when I was there and I was at the Charlotte Tilbury booth, we were actually talking about the holiday release and they were really surprised that it had arrived at my house the day I left for Sephora. I was like, oh, I really wanted to bring it with me, but I didn't. I'd already packed my makeup bag. I was just gonna stick with what I had. First off, the outer carton is stunning. Look at that. I don't keep the cartons. There's no reason to, but if I did, that would be one that I keep. Now, the packaging, and this was the holiday release. The palette is beautiful. There is the little like plastic that tells you the type of eyeshadow that it is. This is the color story. So you've got four matte shades, you've got a pink and then a bunch of different brown shades. So you can do multiple things as long as you like pinky brown neutral tones. There are five shimmers in here and some of them have bigger flakes of glitter. Some look like they're a little bit more finely milled. We're going to swatch them. I am so excited for this. The anticipation of using this the entire weekend I was gone and I'm still behind. So, like I had some things that were pre-recorded. We're catching up on those. So by the time you see this, it might've been out for a second, but I am so excited to play around with this. There's also a little like cheek and high, like a cheek duo. So there's highlighter and blush. I have a bunch of other things that I have in front of me as well. Let's go ahead and swatch these so I can figure out a way forward. Okay, I was actually really surprised with the swatches. So the th four matte shades, they're called future mattes. They kind of feel like a cream to powder formula. I'm gonna have to do some more like digging on this, but I had no idea what I was getting to. I just thought they were regular mattes. These were so creamy and easy to just swatch. Swatches aren't everything, but these were stunning. Even like the pink shade, it, I had to go over it twice, but it was beautiful. Now there is one that they call party topper that is in the middle row, last shade on the right. That one is very beautiful. It's gold. Well, it's kind of like a champagne with silvery glitter. And then the other ones are called crystal glow. So the four crystal glows are the silver in the middle and the entire bottom row, the pink, purple, and the bronzy gold shade. They all have for the most part, glitter particles, except for the one in the middle, which is that silver. That one is cyber silver. It doesn't look like it has any glitter in it. It's just kind of like a smooth shimmer. Whereas the pink, purple, and gold shade or bronzy shade all seem to have little particles of glitter, whether it's the pinkies. The bronze shade looks like it has silver and gold glitter in it. That could just be the lights playing tricks on me. But this palette is a lot of fun looking at it. I'm really excited to play around with Beautyverse, which is the party topper, but I'm not sure which shade I wanna play with otherwise. It does show on the back of the carton that the future mattes are supposed to go on the lid in the crease kind of area. And then the crystal glows are supposed to be right here in the center. And then the party popper is supposed to be on the inner corner. I will do the party popper in the inner corner. Now, which crystal glow I'm gonna use, I have no idea. I'm so far leaning towards the purple shade. It is kind of crappy weather here, so I just wanna play with makeup. Let me prep my eyes and we will dive into this palette. Okay, the eyes are primed and I think I have a way forward. I'm really excited for this. I'm thinking I wanna stay with more of the brown shades, vice pink, and then go into the shimmers. I'm gonna start with this shade right here, which is Virtual Taupe. This one I'm gonna put in the crease and the outer V, just to start building. I will say this formula seems very similar to the Natasha Denona creamy, like cream to powder type of shadows. 
which I absolutely love. Do you see how seamlessly that went on? And I only dipped in once. So dipping in slightly picks up a decent amount of product and it goes a long way. I just picked up a little bit more to bring this more forward. I'm gonna go into the shade Space Chocolate. This is a little bit warm toned. They are so creamy and just picking up so nicely. Except for the shimmers being so full of glitter, I would absolutely wear this to work, but the glitter part is kind of a no-no for me for work. That is a really pretty brown shade. I love that it called, they call it, was it space chocolate? I may have gone in a little heavy handed with that shade. It is okay. I'm gonna go back into virtual taupe just on the outer edge to kind of finesse it. So we get that gradient between the darker, rich, warm tone into the lighter taupe. I'm gonna go into the shade Digital Lilac. I'm gonna pick this one up on my middle finger. Ooh, that is so stunning. And just place that in the center. Ooh, I really like that. Even on the brown, you can see some of the like shimmer catching. So beautiful. Now I'm going to go into Beautyverse, which is the party topper. This one I'm going to use on my ring finger, but then I'm going to see if I can pick it up on a dry brush to finesse the inner corner. It seemed to pick up pretty good. So shimmery, it is not doing it justice on camera. All right, let me do this eye. I'll be back for some other face products. Okay, the eyes are done as far as they can be for right now, but this I picked up during the Amazon Prime Day. This is the Touch and Soul No Pore Bloom Hybrid Primer. It's supposed to be an enhanced pore covering, and I do like the other Touch and Soul primers I've used in the past. They're good for combination skin. There's something for hydration. There's some for that those that have pores or different concerns. So I feel like I'm going to like this one and I'm really hoping and my fingers are crossed, but I like theirs and it is a K-Beauty brand, so made in Korea. So I did shake it. It is a little like liquidy. There is a light scent, but it's kind of, it's like very clean. I'm just gonna pat it right there so it can kind of dry down while I do everything else. It feels nice and the scent isn't like so overbearing that I'd be like, mm, can't do it. It is very like, it's fresh. Kind of like a like a gardenia. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. I might be wrong with my flower scents. Now I do have a bunch of other products that I picked out that I know I like. So I'm intrigued to see how they look on top of here. Actually, I might do just a little bit more in this porous area. Make sure to shake it. It did come out a little bit thicker the second time I pumped it. I'm just tapping it in where I have like the most pores that seem to like to accentuate themselves. I do have one thing to try. <laughs> I got this at Sephora and I have two shades of it. There was a large one that they gave me in my swag bag. I decided to put that in the giveaway for the holidays so definitely Stick around and stay tuned for giveaways. But this is the Say Glowy Super Gel. I have it in the shade Sun Glow and the shade Star Glow. I kind of want to go with the lighter shade. Like right now, I'm not like super tan. And I have my NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. This one's in a little in uh, Valarius. Valaris. So it is a little bit like I, I want to say it's like super dark, but I feel like this shade 
I, I don't know, I want to eventually try both of them, but I want to go with the lighter shade first and not like overdo it with, with my like glowiness and bronziness. So we're gonna start with Star Glow. I do like the air pump because it's gonna push it up, but I wanted to try it and I was like, if I don't like it, then what do I do with the big container of it? So I decided if I do like this, they do have different shades in it. I could always go back and like purchase a bigger version of it, but one of you will benefit. So I just, a little bit. I wanna see like how much I need. We'll start with it on my cheeks first. Ooh, that smells so good. It does have a scent <laughs> and I don't know how much I need. So I went back in with a little bit more and it just depends on like how glowy you wanna be. I tend to be an oily skin girl, but like it's cold out. I wanna say it's like 60 degrees right now. I say cold. That's not like super cold. It will get down to like 35 this winter, but it's starting to cool off. It's kind of rainy out. Like there's a little sheen. It's nothing crazy. Like I'm thinking it's gonna like make me look pale. It's just a glow. I was told that you can put it straight on your skin or mix it into your foundation, just depending on what you want. So I'm gonna go ahead, do the other products that I have in front of me, which foundation, concealer, contour, bronzer, and powder. Those are not new. Let me go do those and I'll be back. Okay, you guys, I did my face products and it looks smooth. Did it cancel out my pores completely? No. In some areas it did. Maybe I needed to focus more like right here. Those seem to be like the hardest ones to make disappear and the Tarte Timeless like smooths it out like a baby's bomb. Bottom, bomb, out. Oh. Mm. Sometimes I word. Otherwise, I feel like it did a pretty good job even smoothing out some of my lines. These ones are a little more deep set whereas these will tend to like disappear. I'm okay with that. The rest of my skin looks really smooth. Any of the additional products that I used will be linked down below with clickable links. So definitely go check those out. Even like the bronzer and contour, really like how that turned out. I do have to finish off this eye before we move on to blush, highlighter, and everything else. Okay, I'm gonna use the virtual taupe to go all the way underneath. I'm really liking these cream shadows. Well, future mattes. It doesn't say that they're cream shadows, but they feel like it. They are just going on so seamlessly. Now into space chocolate. This one's just gonna go in the outer corner. Like, I feel like I would use the matte shades every single day for work and then just get a different, like, inner corner shadow to play with. I really like these. Just the chocolatiness of these brown shades are so nice, especially for the fall time frame. Now, we do have a cheek palette. This is the Hollywood Blush and Glow Glide Palette. The packaging is so cute and adorable. And then I wanna say there were like two different options. So I went with like the more pinky option and then the lighter highlight. Dipped in slightly. Some really pretty color payoff. If you just wanted like a kiss of blush, like that's definitely possible, but I like to build mine up a little bit. I really like this pink shade. Now we need to do the inner corner and the brow bone as well as the highlighter. All right, so into the highlight shade. This little compact is so cute with the little tiny mirror. Like perfect for travel if you don't wanna take, like I carry this in addition to. I wouldn't need to do that with this. I love when I at least have one palette when I'm traveling that has a nice mirror. So then I can minimize like what I take with me. Like right now, Luke and I are still trying to figure out the holidays because 
I have a trip for work and then we roll into the holidays. His schedule for work is kind of like all over the place. So we're literally trying to figure out what to do because he was gonna meet me out in Europe after my work trip. I don't know if he's gonna be able to now with his work schedule, but I'm interested to know, like what do you guys have planned for the holidays? By the time this goes up, it may be like the end of October, beginning of November. So we'll be talking about the holidays. And that was the other thing, the rate at which I do put out my videos, like I'm currently recorded a little bit ahead right now, but I'm not, I'm not trying to go too far ahead because I feel like then I'm not, I'm out of the conversation at that point. The things that are going on are no longer relevant. What's currently happening as of like yesterday is crazy. But by the time you see this, we might be more involved or less involved or it might not be a concern. So I try not to record too far ahead because then the conversation is no longer like important sometimes. Or I don't want to bring back up something that we've already let go. <laughs> Does that make sense? Like just to kind of like tell you where I'm at when, I mean today is the 14th of October when I'm filming this. By the time it comes up, it will probably be the end of October. But last yesterday on the news was everything going on with just the terror attacks. So we're not gonna get into it. That's not what this, this channel or conversation is about. It is horrible what is going on right now, but it makes you scared for like what could possibly happen. I just, I need to get back to the point of like, my videos are a little bit closer to like what's going on but it does have an impact on mine and Luke's work and what we do. So that those are conversations that he and I have and they're kind of scary when you think about the way forward and where we could be in three months or six months or a year. Anyways, um, I've got a lot on my mind. Let's see, what else do we have? I like how the blush and the highlighter look. I feel like my, like, my foundation and stuff got a little bit lighter with the powder that I used. It's the Givenchy, was it Prism Libre in Voila Rosé. It is a little bit lighter, kind of like a pinky tone. It seems a little light. I feel like it like brings down my color for my foundation if I don't use something that's like a little bit darker than it needs to be. It could just be me. Maybe I just need to bronze up a little bit more. I mean, I do still have it on my brush. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm like just not seeing the lighting right. I don't know. It's been a day, you guys. It's kind of gloomy out. Okay, I need to do my brows. I do have the new brow gel from LYS. So I'm going to fill in my brows. I'll come back and do this in my mascara with you guys, as well as lips. So let me go do everything else. Okay, so brows just need to be set. And like I said, I've got the LYS brow gel. This is the Secure Brow Shape and Hold. So I, I did fill them in with brow powder from Emily Heath, one of my favorites. It's just, I can just swipe it through. They don't always, look, like right now to me, this one looks like it's lower. I don't know why I can never, like I'll look in the mirror and I'm like, yeah, they look great. I get on camera and I'm like, what was I doing? It is what it is. It could just be the optical illusion of a camera. I don't know. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows how I usually set them, which this is, it's so cute. I also feel like this is the right amount. Like you just don't want to overdo it. How many ounces is this? I just, I also feel like I'm going to go through this at a reasonable rate. It's not going to get like dyed from my brow powder or the pencil. Cause I have, I have a bunch of clear brow gels, but then when you look at the spoolie, it looks like it was originally light brown, medium brown, whatever, because it's got residue. And after a while, I'm just like, I'm gonna throw that away and start over from scratch. I don't know what I just did right there. Oh, some of the gel just decided to transfer. It's fine. We'll fix it when it dries down. It is pretty, I don't think I needed to like pat them down. I did not dip back into the container only because there's a lot of product on here. Not a bad thing. That's why I go backwards when I flick through just to get everything to like come up and give some texture. But I feel like I am gonna have to clean them up a little bit. Like my brows are not cooperating. And then I just have my regular spoolie that has no additional product. Just getting some of the excess off. I feel like there was some good like disbursement of the product but I didn't really wipe the excess off on the bottle when I like pulled this bully out. So I think in future I would 
just because I feel like there was enough on the spoolie. I didn't have to go and dip back in before I did this side. It dispersed nicely. Uh, also, I used a powder, so powders don't necessarily like stick to the skin like they would if I had used a, a pencil. So it could have moved the excess product up above my brow or whatnot. I will try again with another, like with a pencil in the future, probably tomorrow for when I get ready. But so far, let me let this dry down and we'll make a decision. I don't think they're horrible. I do for mascara have the Lancome Lash Idol. This is just the tester tube that I got from Sephora, but I think I've used this in the past. I can't remember. Figured I might as well like try it out and remind myself like if I liked it or not. You guys, I need to wash my eyelash curler. It's kind of gross. Don't judge me. I had to put a reminder in my task list to wash my brushes. <laughs> it's so bad. Like I'll sit down to do my makeup and I'm like, crap, I forgot to wash them. It's literally like as soon as I walk out of here, it's no longer on my mind. I just kind of wiggle them to like get all the lashes coated and my lashes are, they are very light and pale in comparison. Like you literally can't see my lashes down here. <laughs> Not bad. They pulled everything apart, but I don't remember if it's like a volumizing. It's just, it just says glossy black. It just says mascara. I do like the Lancome Monsoor Big, which I have not used in a while. I just saw it the other day and I was like, ooh, I should pick that up. That mascara is phenomenal. Okay, they are pulling my lashes apart. That's some length. And we're going in for a second coat. I feel like it pulled all my lashes apart and I can kind of see like where every single one of them is. My lashes are naturally long if you haven't been here before. I've talked about it in the past. I have lots of lashes, long in length. So anything that I have, it's just going to accentuate that to the point that I don't wear false eyelashes frequently. Like literally I just did a video yesterday with false lashes for a Halloween like spooky season type of thing, but I don't wear false lashes normally. I do like how this looks though. Now from NARS, I have two of the power mats. I thought I only had one, I have two. So I have a full size of Thunder Kiss and then I have a little sample size of Dragon Girl. I don't wear red as frequently, so this, I'm okay with the size of it, but let's go ahead and swatch them real quick. So this looks like it's a little more like cool toned. Ooh, yeah, that is really pretty though. I could go for that today. And then Dragon Girl is a red. I do like that the cases are, show you like what color is supposed to be because I hate when I try, like if I go in for my MAC ones, they're all in the same black casing. I have no idea what the shades are. Okay, so this is a pinky toned red. I don't know that I wanna do red today. It's pretty though. I wanna go with the nude shade, go figure. Let me grab a lip liner for this one. I completely forgot that I had this and this is from Makeup Forever, the Artist Color Pencil in the shade Wherever Walnut. I just swatched it. It is almost identical. This I got at Sephora as well. She was pulling out lip liners and was matching it to you based off of like what you were currently wearing and just kind of going, I think this is your color, which I thought was really cool because I feel like it is a pretty good match for the NARS. Like some lip liners are really creamy and just glide on. This one's a little stiff and it's just, you gotta build it up. Why does it feel like, 
Okay, I really overlined it on this side. just like not wanting to go on. Like why does this one round out and then this one's like, I want to stay pointing. Okay, I finally got it like similar. I feel like once the pencil kind of warmed up, they wanted to go on better. This is gonna have to do. And then going in with Thunder Kiss. It feels really creamy and nice. Don't mind the shape of my mouth. It's just so weird. Like when you like try to relax your mouth and you're like, what? I'm in my own head. Don't mind me. It's like a whole thing. My lips to me are shaped weird, but not so much so that I would go and have like anything done to them. All right, it's not creamy anymore. They've literally dried down. Transferred a little bit, just like on the inside. So that's nice because it has dried down. My lips look kind of like pillowy. Like I'm not really seeing the lines as much once it dried down. Kind of like the Locked Kiss from MAC. That will make my lips look super pillowy and not so like liney until I start talking. I might have to go pick up more shades of this. I really like this. And this isn't like as pink as I thought it was going to be. It's more like, I don't know. It is on um, almost like a brownie nude type of shade, like lean. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. It could also be the lip liner because when I look at this, it does have like pinky undertones and I think maybe that like leaned it a little more like cool toned brown. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you like this shade? I kind of like it. Is this like my fall go to lip shade? Maybe not overlining it so much next time. Let's see. They don't want to come off with the makeup wipe. Like they're trying, but they're, they just don't want to budge. Okay, you guys, I'm back and this is the final look. I'm really liking how my makeup turned out. I have some thoughts though. The primer, I don't hate it, but I don't think it lives up to like what it says it's gonna be, which is like a poor blurring. Like they still, they're, they're poking through. I, like I can see them on the monitor. They're smooth. They're smoother than they had been. Do I think it's better than my Tarte Timeless? No, but I don't hate it either. Maybe I needed to use more of it. Maybe I need to like let it sit a little bit longer. Who knows? Maybe it could be the foundation because that has happened in the past too. Depending on how liquidy the foundation is, even though I have a primer that's supposed to like make pores disappear, it's like the liquid foundation will still settle into it and my lines. Although I didn't have that issue up here. On this side I did just because those are a little more deep set and they, they like to show out a little bit. But otherwise, like I can try it with a different foundation and maybe it'll just smooth it. It could have been the powder. Who knows? There's so many different variables, but I will try it again. As far as the Charlotte Tilbury, this palette, what is it? The Beauty Verse palette. Absolutely love this. I think it is quite stunning. The Future Matte Shades. Those are beautiful. And I am excited to play with the pinky shade. I didn't use it today, but there is definitely room for that in my schedule and I'm looking forward to it. The shimmery shades are so stunning. I probably could have put more on to make them just kind of like pop some more, but I really like how my eyes turned out. The little cheek palette with the blush and the highlighter, I think it's great, especially for like travel in the holidays, because I think I would use these shades, just the pinky kiss and the lip. 
I think this is like my new fall lip when I want to be a little more neutral. It's cute. Let me know your thoughts. Are you picking up any of these things? Have you seen other things that you think I should pick up and try out? Interact with me down in the comments. We'll have a whole conversation about what you are currently liking or not into. But you guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell for notifications, new videos. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Until my next video, you guys, bye. I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.